Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 8 monthly favorites. TV shows. My favorite TV show at the moment is currently going to be Skins and it was introduced to me by one of my closest friends um, which I will leave his name out because I don't know if he wants to stay, I don't know. This is referred to me by my, one of my closest friends, Billy, and um, it's basically a show that is set in the United Kingdom. Um, I forget where the exact place that it's set, but it's basically a group of teenagers that are going through a lot of different teenager problems. And there is like lots of drama between them and different the sorts of bad things that happen to them. And it's really good and I think that yeah, you should go check it out. You know, I can really relate to a lot of the characters in it and I can really relate to a lot of things that they're going through. So that's one of my favorite TV shows at the moment. Number two, like my favorite game at the moment, it's a mobile mobile game um, for your phone and it's called One Touch Draw. And what this game is, is you basically have to draw the shape in the pattern that it gives you and you have to touch every single dot in the, um, in the game but you cannot go back or you cannot reverse or, you, or else you lose or you cannot remove your finger or else you lose. And that's one of my favorite games at the moment. Social media app. My favorite social media app at the moment would probably be most likely Tumblr and it will probably be Tumblr for a while. The second one would be probably this uh, app called Vent. A lot of people don't really know about it. But there are a lot, there's a lot of users on there, and it's just a really, really like amazing app. I go on there all the time, and I you know talk to other people around the world. Most people are either in, in you know they're either like in other states in the United States or they're across the country and stuff like that. I've met some really cool people and really supportive people, and like I started venting. I want to say in December, and as soon as I got on and I posted my first vent ever. Uh, someone already commented and tried to cheer me up and it was just so amazing to find me Have a lot of people to talk to and a lot of the people here Physically can't really you know help me with a lot of things, but other people in other places Help me. It's kind of weird actually if you think about it but Anyway, it's just a really cool app I suggest you guys go check it out and meet some new people because these people are honestly amazing There is a lot of like no negativity almost to no negativity involved with this app. That's what exactly that I love about it Favorite song at the moment and um, my favorite song at the moment is something real by Stevie Frank and It's I don't know. It's just a really catchy song and I've been really hooked on it. it's a really really good song Audrey, This is a, an upcoming band and I forget where they're from but um, you should go listen to you should go listen to Stevie Frank. They're a really really amazing group, and they they just make really good music. Um, how I got into them, or how well, I found out about them, was I went to Warped Tour 2016. Ooh, ooh, yeah, but um, I went to Warped Tour 2016, and I was waiting in the line, and then they they were just like, hey, they came up to me with their CD, and they were like, hey, they were really nice, and they're like, hey. Um, we're an upcoming band, and I forgot where they were from, but they're, uh, they basically told me where they were from. Um, what, they told us to um, check out their album, and they gave me a, a CD. And it was really cool because their CD was wrapped in a, like an actual like paper, like a copy paper, but it was like a green one. And they had like their album cover drawn on it, and they, they looked really legit. Well, not legit, but it looked really, like, time-consuming, like, they actually put a lot of effort into it, and they had on the back of the paper, they had the list of songs that they were on it, and then they just taped it together, so. But I thought it was really cool for them to have something that creative, and they didn't really, you know, have to do any, well, not have to do it. They're really creative, and they're really, um, just going out there and, and following the tour by themselves, not really sponsored or anything, but they, um, they, they're getting their name their name out and uh, I really do respect number five my favorite band my favorite band that I've been hooked on this entire month would probably be Sleeping With Sirens and the reason for that is because I don't know like I listen to Sleeping With Sirens like a lot and I like a lot like I mean like way more often than I should like way more often than I should and it's really they're a really good band and a lot of people like hate me for it because they're liking them, but you know what? It's okay. But they came out with a new album. It was I know people are probably like, oh shut up, man. He's like it's been out for a while. I know it's been out for a while, but I mean, 
I didn't really listen to that album because I wanted to see them live and perform some songs on that album before I even got into the album itself. And I got the chance to do that at Warped Tour 2016, Houston, Texas, and um, they are really good. They were really, I love the performance. He was just putting, you can tell he put his whole like 110% effort into that performance and his songs and I just really got attached to them all over again because I had been kind of straying away from them. You know how you are with music and stuff like that. Number six, YouTube. Well, most of the videos that I've been most of the videos that I've been watching on YouTube are actually like hair tutorials. Um, I don't know if you saw me before, but I have my hair red, and I've been growing out my hair for a bad part of like I don't know, probably seven months maybe. My hair grows kind of fast-ish, but um, I used to have my hair red, and I had to dye it black. Well, back to its normal color because of I don't know, reasons with my parents and stuff like that. But um, I really, I'm really gonna try and dye my hair again for the second time. But the thing is, I don't really want to bleach my hair because it's gonna damage it a lot. So I'm, I've been watching a lot of hair tutorials. Also, I've been looking for new hairstyles I could probably do and different ways to dye my hair and stuff like that. And I'm doing a lot of research on YouTube, and that's been, I've been like doing that for maybe for about I don't know, two weeks or since two weeks ago. I don't know. Number seven, my favorite book at the moment. My favorite book at the moment is Paper Towns. Um, <laughs> some people are probably like looking at me and like just saying, "Oh wow, I mean, like barely reading Paper Towns," and you've been out. They even made a movie, dude. Come on. But um, the thing is that I read it. I read it halfway, and then I stopped. And I stopped. I forgot what reason why, but I stopped reading it, and then I, I just completely forgot about it. And then my friend was like, oh, you should read Paper Towns. I was like, I got halfway into it. And then, so then she like gave me her copy of the book. And again, bad habit. I went into, I, I read it again. I got to the same place I got into the last time. I, I, I finished reading it. Well, I went halfway. And I kind of stopped reading it. It's been like, I don't know, probably three weeks since I picked it up. But I'm going to try and finish it this time. Hopefully. Number eight. Number eight. My favorite thing Probably it's the most favorite thing at the moment. I have a crush on someone and it's most likely never going to happen because you know what? Life sucks like that. There's this one particular person in my life I watch often. I'm not a stalker, guys. I'm not a stalker. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, um, her name is Cassie and yeah, she's a character on Skins, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, she is in the United Kingdom version, not the American version or the other version of Skins. I forget which other one, but it's on. It's in the United Kingdom version, and she's actually played by Hannah Murray, which is absolutely beautiful. Like when I started watching Skins, maybe about like five days ago, and I kind of like <laughs> fell for her. She's a really a unique character, and she's really nice and really sweet and really amazing and beautiful and perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stop. That's my eight monthly favorites for the month of July. Um, and this probably isn't gonna be posted until probably the 10th or probably the 15th due to editing reasons and I need to finish editing a couple other videos before I post this video up. So thank you guys for watching and if you liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe down below, leave a comment. Any feedback is, is actually really helpful, especially negative feedback. I really like receiving negative feedback if you want to, if you want to put that up there, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, hit a like and comment down below. I know I said that twice, but you know what? It's weird because I'm a dork. If you like being a dork, then you should subscribe today to become a dork. And thank you guys for watching, so bye.